All right, guys, welcome to Bite Size Networking. This is Mike Lopez. Today, I'm going to take you through how you can use your phone as a webcam. The main use cases for this or where it can benefit you if you have a PC, maybe a desktop or a laptop PC that doesn't have a webcam or a built in webcam, this can be useful. Or if the quality of your built-in camera is poor, the quality of the camera in your phone will be far better. And also, you may want a portable camera to capture different angles and different types of filming than you can do or that you are able to do with your built-in webcam. So let's quickly have a look at how we're going to approach this. First of all, what we're going to need to do is download and install software on your cell phone as well as on your PC. So the software that we're going to be downloading is called IRIUN Irian. So let's go ahead, get over to the screens and see how we're going to download the software on our PC first. All right, so what you want to do is open up your browser and go to www.irin.com. I have put the link in the description for you to make it easier. When you open that website, what you're going to notice is you have an option to download the software for Windows, for Mac or for Linux or Ubuntu. So for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to download webcam for Windows. Once the download is complete, you can go ahead and click on the file to begin the installation. So once the installation kicks off, first and foremost, you'll get the licensing agreement. You can accept and click on next. Before I click on next, though, I'm going to show you, yeah, you do have an option to click on the number of cameras. Uh, cell phones nowadays do come out with multiple cameras. If you want to use your front facing camera, your back facing camera or other cameras that your device does have, you can choose additional um, number of cameras over here. But for the purpose of this, we'll just go ahead with one. All right, then it'll tell you the location that it's going to install the software in. We're happy with that. Next and install. All right, for now, I'm going to untick this Start Irian Webcam Server and click Finish. You will then notice that you do have a shortcut on your desktop that says Irian Webcam. Let's now have a look at how we're going to go about installing this on our cell phone. Okay, so now that we're over to our phone, I will be doing this installation on an Android, uh, but it does work both on Android as well as iPhone. So you will go to your Google Play Store or your Apple i Store, uh, respectively, to search for and install the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my Play Store. And then in the Play Store, I'm gonna go ahead and search for Irian Webcam. And that there is the icon that we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Install option and let this application install. Okay, once the installation is complete, you'll notice that this green button next to the application now says open. Let's go ahead and click on open. That then gives you terms of use and terms of services. We can accept and click continue. It then asks you if you want to allow this app permission on your phone to access your videos, your cameras, your photos, etc. We will allow that. And there we go. As simple as that. So we've installed the software on our cell phone as well as on our computer. So once we've opened the application on our mobile device, we want to go and open it on our PC as well. And once we've done that, you'll see this Irian webcam opens up. We can actually see what is being recorded on my camera currently. And you'll also notice that there's a video format option at the bottom here. This basically allows you to choose the quality that you'd like to use. So for whatever reason, depending on what you're doing, I mean, if you've got an extremely, extremely good quality camera on your cell phone, um, and for example, you're gonna be doing a, team, a Teams video call or something like that, you don't wanna be using extra double UHD quality uh, because it's really gonna slow the call down for you and users on the other end. And I think the quality is such that you people won't even really get to appreciate um, the quality because of the poor performance. So that being said, once we've got this application open on both our phone and our PC, let me minimize this. If I wanted to do a Teams call, let's go ahead here, yeah, open up Teams and quickly just start a call so that I can show you um, how you would use this. So I'm jumping into a call quickly there you can see 
my built-in webcam which is great it's busy connecting to the call let's give it a second and that's it so I'm in the call here as I would normally be um, everything is normal but let's say I didn't have this built-in cam on the top of my laptop or for whatever reason I didn't want to use it I wanted to use my mobile device if I come into settings here and the same would apply for all applications you just really have to select this Irian webcam application as a device so if we go into device settings and we go to camera click this drop down you will see here you have Arian webcam as a camera device so instead of using my integrated camera I'm going to select Arian webcam now in the meeting <coughs> I am using my mobile device as a camera as opposed to my built-in device which is on my PC so this is extremely useful when you're using applications like Teams, Skype, um, and you don't have a webcam. Um, alternatively, you do have this consistent live video feed on your computer, which you could use for all kinds of things. Um, if you wanted to record your screen um, and film or whatever the case is. So this really is a webcam. You could mount it on top of your computer facing your way you could give yourself another angle while you're working on your PC all these types of things I hope you guys find videos like this useful this really does help if you are looking for an additional webcam don't have one or don't want to purchase one but you do find yourself having extremely good quality cameras in your mobile devices this is a way that you can utilize that camera on your PC as a webcam without needing to go out and purchase another device or another camera when you already have a number of good quality cameras built into your mobile devices guys if this content has helped you out or you find it useful please give us a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified of future videos as and when they are released thanks for watching thanks for the support until the next time guys